Hey friends, we're gonna make a corpse flower today. So, what we need is a container of some sort. I have a little plastic cottage cheese container, yogurt bin, something like that. Um, a plastic bottle would work. A toilet paper tube even, just something like smaller and round. Uh, I have some brown paper here. You can use like a, a brown paper bag or just some regular construction paper, printer paper, whatever you have. Um, I have some tape and some glue. I have, okay, so a sponge or um, bubble wrap would be best. I have this little plastic sponge thing for painting and then some red paint. So. What we're gonna do first, slide this back so you can see. We're gonna set our container like this and get a piece of tape ready. Okay, and we're gonna wrap our paper around our container like so. And if you need to put a little more tape on it, that's fine. Okay, so now we have this big tower. So, what we're gonna do from there is cut out the petals. So we're gonna make our corpse flower bloom. So I'm gonna make some snips in here. One more, and then we're gonna kinda roll them out. Like so. This isn't gonna be super accurate. It's not gonna look exactly like a corpse flower, but it's the right idea. Usually Phipps gets a corpse flower every once in a while you can see them the cool thing when they bloom is that they're really 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 stinky so they smell really bad so we're just gonna push these all back maybe it'll cooperate maybe it won't who knows okay and now we're gonna paint so i have my red paint when these bloom, they're usually like a, a reddish color. Um, but if you wanna get creative and make a different color corpse flower, that's fine. I like the sponge for the painting because it leaves sort of a, a dotted texture on there, which is, is what I think it looks like. So I'm gonna dip my sponge in. Kinda get it moved around there. And yeah, not quite what I was thinking, but it works. Let's try the other side of the sponge, see if that works better. That's a little better. Not quite the pattern I wanted, but that's okay. Art is all about creativity and flexibility. There we go. I'm gonna get that one. Paint all around. I've never been to Phipps when the corpse flower is blooming, when it's stinky. I've seen it before it bloomed. But I haven't got to see it when it was stinky yet, which is probably good. There we go, see how cool that looks? And keep going, get the outside of it. When we get back to school, we're gonna make a mural on the wall in, I believe, 
ours is in the art area and we're gonna make a, another corpse flower a little different for that. Keep going. There we go, we have our corpse flower. Beautiful and stinky. Thanks guys. <laughs>